Hello all. In this video, we are going to talk about the ocean thermal energy conversion, also known as OTEC and its basic working principle. The oceans and the seas, which cover about 70% of the Earth, are constantly receiving solar radiation and act as the largest natural solar collector. An ocean as a collector has enormous storage capacity. The energy from the ocean is available in several forms such as ocean thermal energy, wave energy and tidal energy. Tidal energy was what we uh, previously saw in our previous videos. The ocean thermal energy conversion OTEC is a new technology and it needs to be harnessed especially in India where the coastline is about 6000 kilometers. Basically, the OTEC converts the thermal energy available due to the temperature difference between the warm surface water and the cold deep water into electricity. Power from the OTEC is renewable and eco-friendly. An OTEC plant can operate in remote islands and seashore continuously. It is very low grade solar thermal energy so the efficiency of energy recovery is quite low. However, since the ocean thermal energy is dispersed over a large ocean surface area, it has a huge potential. Let's move on to the working principle of OTC. As said now, there exists a temperature difference of about 20 degrees Celsius between the warm surface water of the sea, which means where, you are, where the sun's solar energy is being directly received and absorbed and the cold deep water which flows from the arctic regions in the deep layers in the equatorial areas between latitudes of 30 degrees south and 30 degree north. So this 20 degree Celsius of temperature difference is utilized. So the solar heat energy is absorbed by the ocean water and this working principle can be explained using the Lambert's law of absorption. The law states that each water layer of identical thickness absorbs an equal fraction of light that passes through it. Thus, the intensity of heat decreases with the increase in water depth. And due to large heat transfer in the ocean surface water, the highest temperature would be obtained just below the top surface. So, you can see a typical temperature variation curve with distance from the surface as shown in figure. We can see that the temperature at the surface changes slowly, then remains constant at a depth of about 200 meters. The graph has the x-axis, shows the water temperature in degrees Celsius and the y-axis has the distance from the ocean surface. So you can see when the temperature difference is hardly uh, 28 degrees Celsius, Sorry, uh, hardly 4 degrees Celsius, you can see that the, the depth or the distance that you can obtain is only 4 degrees. And as the temperature keeps on increasing, as you go to higher ranges, you get a temperature. The temperature difference of 20 degrees Celsius is obtained when you move on to 1000 meters. Subsequently, the temperature decreases asymptotically and approaches a low value of about 4 degrees Celsius at a depth of 1000 meters. The difference in temperature between the surface and the deeper parts of the ocean is utilized to generate the electrical energy. And the basic process of OTEC is to bring the warm surface water and the cold water from a certain depth of the sea through pipes so as to act as heat sources and heat sink for operating the heat engine. It will form the same system as that of conventional power station with nil fuel consumption. Thank you.